This is a Brother KH910 knitting machine, which I've converted the electronics to the AEB. And I'll just show you how I did my conversion, because there's a couple of people that do things differently. So one of the things that I've done which is different is that I've actually got some lights in the front, LED lights. One is to indicate that the power is on, so I'm still using the normal 240 volts. I've got a pattern light, and I've got the on indication light. The on indication light is to know, for me to know that the AOB is actually, the Arduino is actually on. In other words, the electronic board is on and ready. You do need to have both of the green lights on in order for you to be able to do your patterning. The pattern light, that will illuminate when you first start the pattern and when you're doing your selection row. And the next time it'll come on is when you've finished your patterning. The following change that I've made is actually a tray. So I've removed the Mylar sheet that used to be in here, the Mylar sheet mechanism. And I've 3D printed, designed and 3D printed a tray in order to come in here so that you can actually hold all your tools. Another modification I've made is that I've actually changed to a different type of socket inlet here. So it was becoming quite difficult to get the original brother ones. And so what I have done is I've actually converted it to something um, that's easily obtainable in case people lose their cables. And this just comes off a computer. This is a computer cable, power cable. So I've actually made that conversion for this machine. I've also just done a little bit of whitening of the plastics just to make it look a little bit newer and cleaner. The other change that I've made, I've made a, a, a stand. So this is a color change, a stand to be able to hold the tensioner mast. So as you can see, that slips underneath the knitting machine and is very secure. It's aluminium rod that I use. I've 3D printed a connection piece to actually hold the yarn guide. The top section is very similar to the original. So I've taken the original design. I've then used some bolts to come through so that we can actually just mount the mass tensioner onto the bolts. And then I've just had to 3D print so that the tensioner itself doesn't swivel around. To keep everything in place, I use some special clips that you can obtain from your local hardware store, drill some holes through, and push those clips through. Those clips would also be able to be used to hold your yarn as well. At the back of my unit, I've actually got the USB cable and I've called it computer port. 3D printed a little piece over here so that it just looks a lot neater on the machine. And you can then just unplug and plug just a normal USB cable into this port. Just showing you when the pattern light comes on. So I've got everything ready. You would then just bring your needles forward to working position. You would change your carriage to the KC mark. I've already selected the pattern that I want to knit, which is that one there. So I've loaded the pattern. I've done my port selection. You can choose everything else. And I have made it a lot wider and longer by coming to the image actions up at the top and changing the repeat. Coming back down to the bottom, we push configure and we push knit. When I move the carriage over, the pattern light will come on. 
which indicates that it's actually read the pattern and my pre-selection row is done. I don't have a buzzer on this unit. I prefer to have a visual indication. Just to, for me, I didn't like the buzzer. And a visual indication for me is, I feel far better than having a beeping buzzer all the time. The lid, I do super glue it closed because there's nothing for you to see underneath here anymore. And I did just want to keep the original looking lid. This one I haven't yet super glued down and I'll just show you what it looks like inside. So all I have done is I've cut out the section just to be able to leave us a little bit of a gap for all the cables and everything there. And of course the lid would just come down and get super glued up. The light has gone off in the front. That's just because I've unplugged the USB. So we just plug that back in again. The light comes on. I know we're all good to go because we've got two on lights. And that's the way I've actually done the modifications.